Welcome back everybody to the Machine Learning Lab. In this series we're going to talk about how you can get started in freelancing and machine learning and data science in 2018. How is it even possible, you say? Is there even a market for data science and machine learning services in the freelancing arena? Yes, yes there is in fact. I myself am working as a freelance data scientist and machine learning expert, and you can too. In this series, I'm going to show you exactly how, how to apply for jobs, what platform to choose, how to find the right clients, how to price your services, basically everything you need to know to get started in your freelancing career. So first thing we have to tackle is what platform to use. And there are actually a few different platforms. Uh, in particular, there is Upwork, Fiverr, and freelancer.com. Now, I only have experience with Upwork, so I'm going to be a bit biased in my overview, but um, I think it's genuinely the best platform, and I'll explain my reasons why. So, here's uh, Upwork's main website, and if we do a quick search for machine learning jobs in particular, not, not the um, freelancers, you can see there are quite a few jobs. And the great thing about Upwork is there are a number of different filters you can apply. Uh, you can work hourly, you can work by uh, project, you can even do a set of recurring payments. There's a lot of different options for how you get paid. Uh, but Upwork also has the uh, payment protection plan where if a client tries to stiff you, there is a little bit of protection built in so that you can get your money. Although keep in mind, it is built around the client because the clients are the ones bringing in the money. Uh, they do a little bit to protect the freelancers as well. Um, you can see there's a number of different jobs available. I don't know how viewable that is on my screen on this big monitor, but you have a number of different jobs. Uh, they're denoted by uh, either hourly or fixed price, you know, the level they're looking for, expert, intermediate, beginner, estimated timelines and budgets. So it gives you a lot of detail and there are many, many jobs and there are dozens posted every single day. And so it's a great platform for finding jobs in machine learning. If you take a look at Freelancer, you see there is also a whole bunch of uh, listings for jobs. And in this case, what I'm seeing is that these bids are really, really low. So, so for instance, $6 per hour bid. Now, if you're living in a country with a low cost of living, $6 an hour may be a really good wage for you. Uh, however, here in the United States, you're going to be uh, living on public assistance at $6 an hour. So for me, it's not a great option. I'm um, seeing these, even the bids for the, um, even the bids for the, for the fixed price jobs are really low. $1,500 is incredibly low for any decent sized project. The other thing I'm noticing is that there are lots and lots of bids. So 18 bids, five bids, 26 bids. I know from my personal experience on Upwork that the competition is pretty low. Uh, if I'm applying for a job, typically there's only maybe up to 10 other people applying. So it's a great way to stand out when you have a much smaller field of competition, right? You also have the Fiverr platform. I've never used this either for as a, as a client or as a freelancer, but uh, I'm gonna have to say I would advise staying away from it. And the reason is this page here. So I do a, a search for machine learning and you can't even search the job. So it's at the very beginning, you can tell it's not set up for the freelancer. It's set up and geared toward the client. So as a freelancer, this, this signals to you that they're not gonna really care about you and you need to be very careful when considering if you wanna use our platform. The other thing I noticed is that these starting at rates are really, really low. $20, $30, 50 bucks, 150 That's a little bit more reasonable, but you know, I can't think of too many tasks uh, that you'd be doing that $10 is really a fair wage, right? I mean, machine learning, data science, these are all cutting edge things. You're going to be working on projects that are going to have hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of potential value for the business. So taking a $10 cut uh, is really robbing yourself, in my opinion, now. What I understand of Fiverr is that people will get you in at the low $10 rate and then try to bargain up for other upsells. But that really just um, really complicates the whole thing. I much prefer the approach where you lay everything out from the beginning, have a detailed proposal, milestones, expectations. Client knows what they're getting. You know what they expect. Everybody wins and you get paid a much higher wage. So looking at the top three platforms, uh, I, I really believe... Uh, Upwork is going to be your best bet. You're going to be able to stand out because there aren't very many people applying for these jobs. The wages are high 
and even for people living in um, developing nations. You know, I see many freelancers from uh, places like Pakistan, India, making thirty, forty, fifty dollars an hour. That's really good money for where they are. Uh, it's good money even here in the United States. So it, it is sustainable to provide a living for you and uh, really get you uh, started doing machine learning and data science as a freelancer. So that's just a quick overview of all of the different platforms. It's a really quick video. Uh, again, a bias for Upwork. In the next ser uh, video in the series, I'm going to talk about how to structure your profile, how to look for jobs, how to apply for jobs, and most importantly, how to screen clients. I've had some horror stories of my own as a freelancer at Upwork. It can be a real nightmare, so you need to know the red flags up front so you don't get caught flat-footed, uh, someone trying to jack you for $500. That's not a fun experience, folks. So hopefully you can learn from, from my uh, bad experience and uh, get you started on the right foot. I hope this has been informative. Any questions, leave them below. Stay tuned for the next video.